Is XRP set to hit $500 in the next seven months? Is that crazy talk or is it possible? Wells Fargo Treasury Manager has made a prediction. Someone that we didn't expect, a company, a bank, excuse me, that we didn't expect maybe to have an opinion of this sort when it comes to Ripple XRP. We're going to talk about that today. Welcome back to the Blockash Podcast channel. Let's talk crypto. Make sure to check out our sponsor, BNFT. They're revolutionizing education through DeFi methods and artificial intelligence. They are fantastic. Make sure to check out what they're doing with education in the links down below in the description for the episode. Also check out our Patreon. We do chart analysis Monday through Friday um, for the price of two cups of coffee a month and you get access to all our chart analysis before it goes out on YouTube. So check that out. Links in the description below. All right. So XRP has witnessed an impressive surge in recent weeks, as we know, getting above the 83 cent mark and its landmark legal triumph versus the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. Um, however, that may be just the beginning of gains for XRP, according to Shannon Thorpe. Shannon Thorpe is the treasury manager of banking giant Wells Fargo. Notably, in an extensive Twitter post just the other day, Thorpe offered her price prediction for XRP forecasting that the crypto token could hit between $100 and $500 in the following four to seven months, implying a possible upside of 14,000 to 71,000% from its current price of 71 cents per token. We're going to take a quick look at this as it is very fascinating. So Shannon Thorpe said the following. We're just going to read through this and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. People have long asked what will be the price of XRP when this utility when will this utility come? In my opinion, now more than ever, I see a divided XRP army, one side looking at only charts, taking cues from the past and trends that follow Bitcoin to draw short term price predictions, whilst others citing to utility, believing that partnerships and the replacement of antiquated systems will drive price. Neither side has been correct, nor in the future will either side be correct. XRP, for those not in the know, is not a security, according to the court ruling. Why would we continue to pretend it is and make price predictions based on securities in the crypto space. This logic seems counterintuitive and holds back what the team Ripple set off to do so many years ago. She is a big XRP Army fan and XRP fan in particular. I have been asking to give my price prediction with no time frame, no clear understanding of circulating supply or firm dollar amount that equates to a start. All listed items are subject to change and will over time. But however, uh, after the SEC ruling, Congress having just passed the proposed crypto regulation bill to the Senate, just nine days into testing Fed now with banks, Valhill Capital has written a whole white paper on XRP price and will not pretend to think I know any of that math they did. Da, 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 da. Here's the small problem I have with the charts. If you set a range XRP, say one to five dollars, you're ultimately saying, ultimately saying that if one company owned all the XRP, yes, all 100 billion, they would have a liquidity strength. LS from 100 billion to 500 billion. Keep in mind, there's a small burn rate on each transaction, regardless of the amount. This LS does not account for any growth in the economy, the action of messaging and settling, nor the 24 7 365 benefits we receive using XRP. Swift handles about 44.8 million messages a day. These are just messages, not settlements, and only half of what XRP can do. Now, let's say that dollar value for Swift is $7 trillion a day not 24 seven or 365. If Ripple through its 10 years of innovation and partnerships were only able to grab 30% of Swift's value, that would be 2.1 trillion in daily value, approximately 13.2 million messages. Now you may say that XRP settles in one to five seconds and the liquidity would be there. Yes, settlements are quick. However, if I were to send a 700 million, $750 million transaction with a LS of say $1, that is roughly 10% of all that banks XRP. Furthermore, there's more than one client and no one wants to break that $750 million into $750,000, $1,000 transactions, each having a burn rate. You will want a price prediction. Let's account for all the banks globally. She, she's really gone into this. Um, if I had to guess 50 to 75 billion XRP at any one time supporting an LS now spread that across say 300 to 1000 different banks, liquidity providers and governments. $1 times 75 billion is $75 billion. 75 billion divided by a thousand banks is 75 million XRP dollars per dollar. 
breach bank and or liquidity provider. Assuming all big banks will have more XRP and that small banks will use more liquidity providers. Assuming banks and liquidity providers will purchase from exchanges uh, in the U.S. Assume Ripple has released all of their XRP from escrow to get $75 billion. If circulating supply is less than $75 billion, price per XRP is exponentially higher. We're going to finish this up in a second. Just bear with me. Given LS is roughly $75 million per bank and JP Morgan being a top tier bank, moving more than $8 trillion a day and say due to service overlaps with SWIFT in the assumption that Ripple can only capture 10% of that market, equaling $800 billion, remember that $75 billion XRP is out there. $1 is not enough to move that kind of money, but that should go without saying. This is just cross-border transaction, not derivatives, real estate, CBDC to include, but not limited to foreign currencies or countries, excuse me, banks and projects, technical parallels and NFTs. So if it is, so is it hard for you to still believe Vol Hill Capital and their price prediction? Now, the part you all have been waiting for, da, 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 my price prediction, anywhere from 100 to $500 near short term, four to seven months. That is really ambitious. Oh my God. Why? Why? It all boils down to LS. If XRP is $100 at a supply of, say, only $50 billion, that makes an LS of $5 trillion. And at $500, that gives us an LS of $25 trillion. This gives the market room to breathe, allows for growth, and ensures no one company needs to own billions of XRP to perform day-to-day -day operations. Now, how and when will this happen? And how and when, for me, are tied together? It all has always been what the creators have stated, a flip of the switch. I say this as I believe there will slash has been an evaluation for XRP like gold. This is how they will price price it out, price you out. This is what I believe meant when uh, Rosie Rios meant when she said the train has left the station. This is how the government's control the next world of finance. Um, hashtag, I hope this age is well laughing. So that was a long tweet by Shannon Thorpe. Again, Shannon is the treasury manager for Wells Fargo. So she knows a thing or two about money and finance, uh, especially in the banking industry, having, you know, working with Wells Fargo. So you have to give her a little bit of credit in terms of how she broke it down and decided to take a look at it and the price predictions you're giving. Like I, I understand 100 to $500 is a very big move, but we're looking at this in terms of normal crypto price action. Most of us are probably expecting XRP to be anywhere between a dollar and ten dollars by 2025, right? Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to a dollar this year. We're already sitting at like 70 cents, more or less, give or take the day. Um, so we should be at a dollar by the end of 2023. We should be a lot higher than that in 2024 and 2025. So one to five to ten dollars is not impossible for XRP. It's expected. But a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Those are very big moves in the crypto space. You don't really think of that being possible other than with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is just different. But think about what you said in regards to using XRP as utility. It's not a security anymore, but think of it from a utility perspective, which is what it's supposed to be used for. In that scenario, you do need a strong revaluation for XRP. We talk about this stuff all the time with gold. Why can't we talk about it with XRP? If you're going to be using it for the SWIFT system and for messaging and remittance and payments and all these things, and you have thousands of banks potentially using it, um, and it's a big part of you know the new updated ISO 222 uh, messaging system, then yeah, XRP does need a revaluation. The question is, what does that revaluation look like? Because you don't want to send a whole bunch of transactions of $1,000. You don't want the burn rate to you know, affect those transactions. You don't want to have to incur a lot of fees. You want the price of XRP to be worth more so that it takes less XRP in circulation to fulfill those transactions, if that makes sense. Um, that is where her argument come in, comes in. And when you think of it from that perspective, it makes sense. Why can't a single XRP be worth $500? I think it could. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow or even ambitiously in the next four to seven months, but I'm not going to be overly surprised if it starts to move in that direction. If before 2023 is over, we're already at $10, I'd say we're moving in that direction pretty fast. Um, I'm not going to say that's going to happen in four to seven months. I'm not going to say it's going to happen at all. Again, it's not financial advice, but my personal opinion on this, it makes sense. It really does. 
And that can apply to other things like Stellar Lumens, XLM, Quant, maybe Algorand at some point. Um, you know, there's, there's a HBAR. There's a lot of other players here other than XRP. And I think there'll be competition. So I don't think the XRP is just going to dominate the market completely. Um, especially with the rate like XLM is going at and the partnerships they're forming. They could be just as big or bigger than XRP. Who knows? Because they're a clean project. They haven't done, had to deal with all this litigation like XRP and Ripple Labs has had to do. They're cleaner. They're easier to work with. So let's say you had just those two. Then maybe it's not 100 to 500. Maybe it's 50 to 250. Anyways, my point is that I do think there's going to be a massive revaluation for XRP. I think it'll be above $10. I don't think it's going to happen in four to seven months, though. I could be wrong, but that's a big shift that a lot of banks would need to take on. And I think the only way that happens is if legislation gets passed in the U.S. because things are happening for XRP very positively in other places in the world, especially what's happening in Dubai right now with their central bank. But the U.S. is really important. The banking system in the U.S. is vital. So... If we get the right reg, um, regulation and legislation passed, which is on its way to Senate, passed in, in Congress, um, and we can get that through, that could be the thing that sends XRP to those revaluation levels. All right. So that is the potential catalyst. That's what I'm watching. And I was under the impression we weren't going to get any legislation until next year. But after, I think the SEC has actually helped the crypto industry by bulldozing it and forcing the advocating from Coinbase and Binance and everyone else in the space that that is investing money into getting a bill done. They're like, hey, we're getting attacked, but it's not our fault. We're not trying to do anything wrong, but the SEC is attacking us. And it's just raised this question. And now you see everyone else in the world, in Hong Kong and Singapore, in the UAE and South Africa and in, in Europe with Mika, everyone is adopting it and forming some kind of framework, just not the US. So this is very important. And when it happens, yes, it'll have a traumatic, dramatic, not traumatic, dramatic effect on XRP in a very positive way. And we'll see what that looks like. But this is very interesting, especially when it's the treasury manager for Wells Fargo, like you have to take this into consideration. Now, it is possible. It's not impossible. It is possible. Reva revaluations happen more often than you think. And this would be a very large one. But I do think it's it's going to happen to some extent. All right. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you think I'm full of shit or if you think that this is possible. You know, go through it. Take a look at yourself. Look at her tweet. Um, it's, it's fascinating, really, to think about. We're in an interesting point in time, guys. Um, like the video. Share with somebody that you think would be interested. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. You guys are the best. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.